what's going on guys today we'll be working on a, an equation and we will be factoring it so as near normal factoring what you will do is you would have this a number you will have to get a number that multiplies into this one and adds into this one but in this equation we have a problem we have six at the beginning here what will we have to do we will have to multiply the six by the ten which will give us negative sixty and then we just put negative 11 at the bottom. Now we need to find a number that multiplies into 60 and adds into negative 11. So let's say the numbers are negative 15 times 4. Yep, that gives us 60, negative 60. Negative 15 plus 4 gives us negative 11. So that's, that's good. That's the number we'll use. So, what we will write here is we have 6x squared, and what we will do is sub those two numbers, negative 15 and 4, 4, negative 11. So, we'll have negative, my bad, positive 4x minus 15x minus 10. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to collect your alike terms. These two, these two. So your alike terms in this equation here will be 2x, because they're both divisible by 2 and they both have x. This one here, both of them are negative and they're both divisible by 5. So we can have negative 5s. Next what you're going to do is you're going to put these two outside of their own brackets. So you'll have 2x bracket, 3x plus 2 bracket, negative 5 bracket, 3x plus 2. Now what you have here, you have 2x plus 2, bracket 3x plus 2, negative 5, 3x plus 2. So it works out great that you have 3x plus 2 in broken brackets here. So what you will do in your next step is create these negative, create 2x and negative 5 in their own bracket. 2x minus 5, sorry, and you will have 3x plus 2. And that's your answer, guys, for this factoring here. Now, a way to check your work will be you go back. So what you will do is you have 2x and 3x. 2x times 3x equals 6x squared. 2x times 2 will equal 4x plus 4x. Negative 5 times 3x will be negative 15x. Negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. Now, see, you got back, you have this same equation here, which is what you've had over here. Now, what else you have to do is that you just add these two together. So you'll have 6x squared plus 4x minus 15x minus 11x minus 10. Now you go back to your original equation. 6x minus 11x, 6x squared minus 11x minus 10. So that's how you know that your equation here, 2x minus 5, 3x plus 2 is the correct equation in factored form.